Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Mr. Chu, the TikTok privacy policy details extensive data collection on users. One line states that we may collect information about you from other publicly available sources. What publicly available data is TikTok collecting and adding to the profiles of users? It will be publicly available, but I can get back to you on specifics. Okay, what is the purpose of obtaining even more data on your users beyond the data collected from the platform? We collect um, uh, data, we want to give our users, by the way, a lot of transparency on what data we collect. We give them choices on the controls of their own privacy settings. And it really is to serve them a better experience. This is the reason why so many people love the app. It's a great experience. So how does, so how does the non-TikTok related data service provide, relate to the service provided? I, I, I need to check the specifics and understand the question and get back to you. Okay, yeah. do you think the average TikTok user knows that you are and understands that TikTok's data collection extends to information outside the use of the app? We do give um, tr um, transparent information on this. And like I said, we, I, we don't, I don't believe we collect more information than most of the social media platforms out there. Well, and the reason I ask this is because I'm going to go back into the uh, corporate structure. You, you described that TikTok is a subsidiary of ByteDance. Uh, Mr. Griffith just said that you guys share the same lawyers. You have stated that your direct report is the CEO of ByteDance, but you've also stated that at certain levels, TikTok operates without direct daily control from ByteDance. You have used content moderation as an example for that. TikTok's privacy policy states that, use, uh, states that you may share user data within your corporate group. Does that corporate group include ByteDance? Um, if you are talking about that one entity that has the share the, for the for Chinese media licensing purposes. I think it's called Beijing Douyin Services. If you're talking about that entity of the government share, the answer is, you know, we have cut off, you know, all access of uh, US data sets to that. So employees of the entity. <laughs> but your user privacy, so your corporate group, ByteDance is part of your corporate group. Uh, ByteDance is the, is, the, is the top company. So, so yeah, with, you're talking about the other, entities within the group. So you just testified that you firewalled this. Does that statement, so you're saying the TikTok's executives you that operate independently of ByteDance, but does that statement not hold for sharing of access to data? Uh, well, I, I was talking about that one entity that has, um, that many of you have raised some concerns, you know, that's the, that's the entity that, that I'm talking about. The entity with the, the uh, Chinese government's um, investment that has, that is for the purpose of Chinese, um, internet licensing for the Chinese business. Nothing Let me ask it a different way. What other entities have access to TikTok user data? Well, after Project Texas, we're gonna move it so that only um, uh, TikTok user data security has, ex has controlled the access of that data. Okay, so, and we could bring you back either in after Project Texas is done, but right now, what other entities have access to TikTok's user data? Today. Only by requirement, it's really only by requirement. Uh, certain employees may use we need to uh, require some access of data to help build the product. Um, but for US, you know, we have moved it for Project Texas, and by the end of this year, it will be firewalled away. But this is your privacy policy today. Like, I, I understand what you're telling us what's potentially gonna happen in the future. I have concerns, again, about CFIUS and government involvement, private organization, all of that. I'm just saying, this is your user agreement today. So your user agreement says that you share access with your corporate group. You know, you're, you're telling me what's going to happen whenever Project Texas gets done. I'm asking you today, who has access to TikTok's user data? Uh, in our user agreement, Congressman, uh, in our privacy policy, we, have, we also added a link so that our users in the U.S. can be informed about Project Texas. The link is there. So the link is there to private, but I understand what you're trying to do moving forward. I have my own concerns about that, but we're sitting here today in a hearing and your privacy, your privacy policy is different than your testimony. Your privacy policy specifically says that you can share user data within your corporate group. So are you saying even though your, your privacy policy says that you're not doing it? Like I said, I don't think there's any contradiction here. Like I said, Project Texas, when it's done, we firewall off that data. We still have some legacy data in Virginia and Singapore that we started deleting and will be done by the end of this year. So at the end of this year, then you won't share it. Does that mean you're sharing it today? I don't, I don't believe so, but there is some data. And why there. haven't you changed your privacy policy? Why haven't you, we, we why did, haven't you updated it? We did update it and we gave our users more information on Project Texas. We did update it. 